COVID-19 pandemic was a difficult time for many people. For example, lockdowns were implemented to stem the spread of the virus. But being stuck at home for a prolonged period resulted in negative impact to people's mental and physical health. Social isolation led to individuals experiencing depression, anxiety, and financial decline, among other things. Also, the sudden change of lifestyle <coughs> and nearly complete lack of physical activity led to reduced body metabolism. So, staying indoors protected us against the coronavirus, but it also led to other health problems. Some tricky times, eh? But then I discovered hiking. Summertime was right around the corner, and it had been a few months since we were all stuck indoors, craving for social interaction. Hiking was a great way to spend quality time with friends, because we could easily socially distance. To be honest, I was both excited and doubtful at first, because I had never hiked before. I had several unanswered questions. For example, will the path be treacherous and not well maintained? Also, what if I encountered wildlife? What would I do then? How would I protect myself? And most importantly, what if I seriously injure myself in trying to be over here? Uh, I still remember the very first hike I did, Grassy Lakes. Grassy Lakes is right by Canmore and an hour and a half drive from Calgary. It is a two kilometer hike and 200 meter elevation view from the base to the lake. On the spectrum, I would put Grassy Lakes under the easy category. It is definitely not a big time commitment. You can leave your house at say 9 a.m., drive up there, finish the hike, and then be back home by 2 or 3 p.m. But for me, it was the most challenging <coughs> hike I've ever done. In fact, it was the first hike I'd ever done. I remember watching others around me breeze past with ease while I struggled and gasped for every bit of oxygen. The rocks and rubble on the ground, the sometimes narrow path, just enough space for one foot, and then the slippery surfaces due to ice definitely added an element of risk and adventure. <laughs> but in retrospect, it was not as dangerous and daredevil of an act as it felt like in the moment. But despite the strenuous climb, the absolute thrill of arriving at the lake and then looking down from the top of the mountain, it was exhilarating. I had gained 200 meters in elevation, but to me back then, that was the equivalent of climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> the, rush, the rush of endorphins and the feeling of accomplishment is just unparalleled, like nothing I'd experienced before. It helped me elevate my mood, socialize with friends in a safe environment, and provided some much needed physical activity. Hiking is known to help build stronger muscles and bones, improve your sense of balance, reduce risks of heart disease, and obviously help lose weight. But above all, connecting with nature at such a raw level brought a renewed sense of peace and tranquility. Something we all need during the lockdown. I can still vividly picture the clear, transparent water of grassy lakes and the lush greenery on its perimeter. In that moment, I was in heaven. Ever since completing grassy lakes, I have not looked back. As the years went by, I continued challenging myself, going up mountains that were taller and heights that were longer than ever before. I eventually realized that I enjoy the type of hikes where I summon a mountain because the views from the top are just breathtaking. I thought grassy lakes was heaven. <laughs> Little did I know I would be seeing sights that would topple grassy lakes easily. I 
can confidently say that hiking was the one good thing that came out of the pandemic for me. I have explored the rare beauty of the Rocky Mountains and have a renewed sense of appreciation for being so close to it. But most importantly, I have discovered an activity that is great for both my mental and physical health. And I can't wait to get back starting next one. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster.